You ate a bunch of pig food, you ate a bunch of bird food, and you ate a bunch of processed soy slop. That is it. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to Lee Lord, the vegan bodybuilder, and his newest video called Becoming Biggest Vegan Bodybuilder, episode 4, 3000 calories in 4 minutes. Fantastic. This is going to be a quick one for a change. Let's have a look. If you want to see someone eat 3,000 calories in a four-minute video and join me on my journey to becoming the biggest yes. vegan bodybuilder there is out there. That's why I'm here. And you're in the right spot. The video cool. is going to be action-packed from start to finish. <laughs> I doubt that. Tips, tricks, meal ideas, everything you need to hit your macros as a vegan or just get absolutely massive like myself. Absolutely massive. Look at that massive weight right here. <laughs> we are going to be increasing the calories every single video. Oh, wow. So drop a like, get yourself subscribed and join in the journey. Okay. So a must-have in the morning is a soy latte. <laughs> then I like some toasted buns and I also have a litre of soy milk. Now look, <laughs> The soy latte wasn't enough. <laughs> you'll be thinking soy milk a litre, it's a bit excessive, but absolutely not. No. This is a ready-made protein shake. Because the packaging said it has protein. What is the biological value? How much can you absorb? How about the phytoestrogen content? Who cares? A lot of people dismiss soy milk. <laughs> 400 calories a litre, 36 gram of protein. It's cheaper than any protein bar out there. It's real food. And it's just a ready-made it's real food real food how about whole milk no protein shake okay and a big factor for me is the fact that it really is just ready-made in your fridge you're busy you've got a road to work wow. get the bottle open neck it on the way to work you've got the modern day soy boy drink a soy latte drink a liter of soy milk on top and watch games on youtube 400 calories and 36 grams of protein wow. there so that makes the total for this meal 753 calories and 45 grams of protein. Such a waste of life. I know this is just a four minute video, so we're trying to get through it fast. But really, look at this. This is so sad. A grown man waking up in the morning, chucking down a liter of soy milk, watching video games on YouTube. What is your purpose, man? How is this life? How does it fulfill you? Also for me, this is just a really enjoyable way to start the day. There's no heavy cooking. <laughs> oh. I've got toasted buns. I've got my soy latte and I've got a liter of soy milk, which I absolutely love. So I tend to just have this in the morning. Yeah, I'm sure you love soy milk. Man, no human being loves soy milk. You can't be that brainwashed. Why are you lying to yourself? While I'm watching other people play Call of Duty and it's just a nice easy way to start the day and get the calories in and also getting oh. the protein in, which is key in bodybuilding to get protein in first thing in the morning and get yourself off the mark. Yeah, man, absolutely. It's about the protein, but bodybuilders that are obsessed with building their bodies, don't you think they already explored many, many ways of getting that protein? Don't you think that if soy milk was the holy grail, people like Ronnie Coleman, Phil Heath wouldn't drink it? Vegans always try to reinvent the wheel. Why? And it'll soon be time to get lunch on the go. So for lunch, we're gonna have 200 grams of lentils. The reason <laughs> for this is we're gonna keep the meals very simple and the easiest possible way for you to get high calories, high protein, and making sure you wow. are gaining weight and gaining mass. Yeah, dude. You really believe that you're gonna gain weight, gain mass by eating lentils and vegetables? There's a person that's willing to do whatever it takes to reach his goals. Did you hear me say that? Should I repeat it? Lentils and vegetables. Intuitively, you must understand that this won't lead to weight gain. Wow. Five grams of mixed vegetables, because not only is it important to look after your macros, it's important to look after your micronutrients, getting plenty of fruit and veg in there, <laughs> and making sure you still get. And what kind of micronutrients do you have in those frozen veggies? The answer is, you don't know. Calories as well. Wow. Now you'll have seen for taste, I've put in some salt and also 10 grams of olive. Let me get my face out of the way. Okay, so that's his body. You can tell right away the body fat percentage isn't very low. Not any substantial muscle definition to see here. And if he is absolutely massive, I let you decide that. I look as big as I possibly can. <laughs> What I see here is a grown man eating a lentil stew in the first world where he doesn't have to, where he has access to premium cuts of meat. He is malnourishing himself for no apparent reason. The only reason, as always with vegans, is self-hate. Butter, that does it for me and it tastes perfect. Now you'll also see that I like to make it a <laughs> sure. mm -hmm. stoopy texture. That for me just allows me to eat the meal a lot quicker and wow. as you know by now, I don't always make my meals for taste. 
it's a purpose to grow. I want to eat that meal as fast as possible. You know, whatever it takes. Dude, do you hear yourself? You just said it tastes perfect. Then you say you're not cooking for taste. Which one is it? Either way, this tastes absolutely disgusting and it won't make you grow. I also want to cook it as fast as possible. Wow. So with this meal having 704 calories and 50 grams of protein, that <laughs> takes our total sure. so far for the day to 1,457 calories and 95 grams of protein. That's well off the mark for both calories wow. and protein here on two very basic meals. And Fantastic, then a bit to show you everything that's passed my lips today, snack-wise, I'll be having an apple, an orange, and a packet of crisps. Now it's time to work out. I'll have one, maybe two scoops of pre-workout. And then it's time to... You already had a soy latte and now here's a pre-workout. That's a great way to fry your adrenals. Okay. Now I'm only going to show you a brief snippet of the workout because we're here for the calories. But I also wanted to keep it there just to show you how I'm progressing physique and size wise. Phenomenal. Now I'm starving and it's time for the post-workout shake. Vegans are always starving. So I'm going to be having 100 grams of granola. Man, that's pig food. Do you understand? That's kibble. Wow. 60 gram scoop of chocolate pea protein, <laughs> 10 grams of mixed seeds, uh, 10 grams of cashew nuts, cashew. and a healthy 50 gram serving of peanut butter. Peanut butter is probably the biggest thing I missed on my cut, so boy am I making up for it now. So you already cut down? What? So as you can see, it is a little bit thick, but it's very, very easy to drink, mm. and I'm gonna do it in 20 seconds real time just to show you that. Whilst I am okay. doing that, I'll let you know that it is 1,082 calories and 73 grams of protein. That's cute. He probably thinks of himself as Rich Piana. <laughs> oh, shit. Nearly. That takes the total to the day. 181 grams of protein and 3,009 calories. Why? Now we'll be increasing the calories every single video. So like I said, get yourself subscribed and join in the journey. Okay, man. All right, guys, and this is it. Finally, a quick video for a change. Anyhow, an absolute sad display of a full days of eating. If you would really be concerned with building muscle, really concerned with it, then you would take the knowledge that preceded you. Over 100 years of bodybuilding, you could find one trick or the other. Not one vegan bodybuilder was successful in the past 100 years, let alone in the last decade. Most of them get injured, drop out or become ex-vegans. You ate a bunch of pig food, you ate a bunch of bird food and you ate a bunch of processed soy slop. That is it. And now you expect your human body to respond with anabolism. It is damn near impossible. It is not only a positive nitrogen balance that counts here. I know you believe you got all your macros. How much did you absorb? Again, what is the biological value? You do not care about those things. But yet again, it's not only about the positive nitrogen balance. How about the micronutrients? You said it yourself. So you had an apple and a little bit of frozen veggies. How about liver? How about eggs? How about red meat? How about whole milk? Those foods build the body. Those foods bring the body into anabolism. Why do you believe that babies eat milk and only milk and grow like babies? Milk is super anabolic. Soy milk turns you into a soy boy. It's absolutely catabolic. No cholesterol, no creatine, nothing in those soy products. But anyways, this is my lesson to you. I was a vegan bodybuilder for four years. You do what you want to do. If you want to continue with your journey, you will suffer. All right, guys, but this is it for today. If you liked the video, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much for your support. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. Absolutely massive like myself. <laughs>